Welcome to Opening Acts here at 1871, Chicago's digital startup hub. Uh, Opening Acts is where we introduce exciting new startups here in Chicago and let them tell you a little bit about their story. Tonight, uh, the co-founder of TempoDB, which I have to say uh, is a uh, Chicago Ventures investment, and so as part of the Chicago Ventures team, I want to disclose the uh, <laughs> fact that I believe so much I've invested in them through CV, but uh, we have Justin DeLay. Justin, glad to have you here. Thanks. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. So TempoDB, it's a big idea. It's really interesting technology, but it's not something most people would have heard of. How would you best describe it to people who don't know uh, much about the company? Sure. So we are uh, simply analytics for the Internet of Things. Okay, great. Well, we hear a lot about the Internet of Things. Sure. Um, we hear a lot about analytics, so it seems sure. like two great things that uh, go well together here. Um, but for, the, for those of us who... Um, you know, that would be, feel a little abstract, sure. cool, but abstract. Sure. Like, give us a sense, like, what problem are you solving? Is there an example you can give to kind of make it really concrete for those of us who might not be in, in, knowledgeable in that area? Sure, yeah. So we work primarily with uh, customers who um, make physical products, physical devices, and, and that, that's a wide range, everything from a medical device to something like a solar panel installation. And um, we'll talk about the solar panel installation specifically. Uh, they today make a product, they make solar panels, and they want to transition their business and really transform their business from a product to a product as a service, right? They want to offer their customers the ability to um, analyze the, the, the sensor data coming from the solar panels uh, in real time to, to be able to conduct historical analysis um, and deliver all of that as a, as a service to their customers. So we provide all of the uh, software infrastructure behind that so their hardware expertise meets our software expertise and they can transform their offering. That's great. So where did the idea come from? Yeah, so my uh, co-founders, uh, Andy and Mike, uh, actually spent several years here in town um, at a geothermal energy company and, uh, and really, really struggled with the, the problem of, of uh, making sense of sensor data. And, and this was just at a small geothermal company dealing with individual buildings and they took a step back and said, if we're struggling so hard to, to make sense of this, this massive amount of sensor data, the, the largest companies in the world must be having uh, this problem, and, and, and that has so far proven to be true. Great. So what can you tell us about traction so far? Sure. Yeah, so we, uh, so we launched the product uh, almost two years ago now um, and uh, you know, have, have a lot of paying customers today in several industries. Um, we, we have a, a great business in alternative energy because we know it pretty well, um, but are pretty rapidly expanding um, into um, infrastructure, manufacturing, um, medical devices is something that's really hot right now, now that Apple's talking about the rumored iWatch. Um, but we actually, I should point out, that we actually launched as uh, Tempo DB database, really focused on just the sensor data store. I got the name wrong already. No, 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 no. Behind it's, the times. It's, it's, this is, you know, it's rapidly evolving. Uh, and and the, the, the traction has really pulled us to, to, to move beyond data storage up into ever higher value aspects of the, the sensor data, so hence, IQ. The big reveal is in a couple of weeks, but this is like the... That's great. Right. Well, you're, you heard it here first. Tempo <laughs> IQ. Yeah. Breaking Exciting. Um, and tell us, uh, what's the vision? What's the big vision of where, what could this be in 10 years when you and your co-founders are telling us a story at your founders? Sure. Years? Well, I hope we get to come back. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think everybody gets that the Internet of Things is this transform, transformational technology um, and, and, and sort of the next wave um, of, of technology. I think that we, we look at it a little bit differently, which is you know, the only reason why we are rapidly deploying sensors uh, all over the world, you know, 50 billion, 100 billion, uh, is either save money or make money, right? You're either gonna add sensors to your product to create new lines of revenue, um, or you're gonna buy those products because you think that there's some sort of um, efficiency that can be gained. And, and we're very, very focused on that efficiency. And we think that you know, much in the way that our ability to measure things online has driven tremendous efficiencies in advertising and, um, and, in, and in many industries. Bringing that same kind of um, efficiency and visibility and ultimately uh, accountability uh, to the real world, um, you know, we humbly think that, that we can help our customers transform their, their businesses and, and their markets and ultimately get to a more efficient and uh, accountable future. Well, that's exciting. I was at a, a board dinner last night where someone was explaining how every restaurant company in the U.S. will have to be able to track its food from when it, you know, basically all the way through the supply chain, and once it gets to what needs to be refrigerated state, what the temperature was going sure. through it. Yep. And the big question is how do you get the cost down? Yep. Because there's this need to say, 
you know, make sure you don't serve bad food. A lot of it comes from, so, uh, you know, some kind of disconnect there. And what happens with a restaurant today is they stick a thermometer in the thing as it comes in to say, is it now? But that doesn't mean it was right. 12 hours ago or... Sure. Um, and so you can see what an exciting thing it is, and you can see also how people can't figure out yet how they pay for it because the old-fashioned way of doing it is awfully expensive. So sure. Seems like you're onto something big and exciting story to have here in Chicago. Thanks for doing it. Thanks Thank for you being very here. much. Appreciate Great. it. Great.